Let's see how we can diagram direct objects. And at this point, we've mostly looked at examples that have a subject and a verb, which is fairly straightforward. But the most common pattern in English tends to be subject, verb, object. And if we look at an example here, we could say something like Anselm. There is our subject, Anselm loves. Okay. And then there's our verb, right? Uh, and loves what? We could say strawberries. Strawberries. And that would be a complete sentence. Now, strawberries then is the object of loves. Loves what? Strawberries. If we take another example here, we could say Klaus. There we go. Um, hates spiders. He really doesn't like spiders. So, hates again is our verb. And hates what? Hates spiders. So these uh, verbs here, these are called transitive verbs. Okay, so transitive verbs. Transitive. This first part, trans, means across. Okay, across. And you can think of the, the verb carrying the action across to the object. So it transfers the action to the object. On the other hand, we also have verbs that are intransitive, intransitive. And these are verbs that don't take a direct object. Now, of course, some verbs can be both, right? Sometimes they're transitive, sometimes they are intransitive. If we take an example, for instance, of a short sentence here, Felicity scowled. There we go, there's our verb. It doesn't say scowled what, right? There's no object there. Instead, we just end the sentence, we put a period there, and we're using an intransitive verb, so there's no direct object. The last thing we'll want to do then is to actually diagram the direct object. And I've started this particular sentence here, and some love strawberries. So we just need to add the direct object. And what we're going to do now is draw another line after the verb, but this one just comes to our horizontal line. As you can see here, it does not extend underneath as opposed to the one between the subject and the predicate, between the subject and the verb here. And then the next thing we do is we just write our direct object on the line after, after that. So strawberries. There we go, strawberries. And we have added our direct object. Let me give you one example here very quickly. This sentence will read, the witch lost her favorite broomstick. Now what you can see here is that we've added a few descriptors as well, the and her and favorite, and we'll talk about what these are in future lessons. But as you can see, the main thing for now is to make sure that our direct object goes after the verb with this line right here, right? Uh, and then make sure that you also capitalize whatever the first word was in the sentence. So in this case, the here, I've capitalized it, the witch lost her favorite broomstick. All right, that's it for now for direct objects.